start streaming. Pop the chat. Cool beans. Just waiting now. Stop. Lock. Ah, uh, yes, you're on. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. Good. Alrighty, so... Check this out. I'll show you display one and display two. And we'll go back to display one. Close this. I changed the date on it. That way it doesn't make it confusing. Uh, let me start my programs. Let's turn on the controller. It's about 30%. That's no bueno. Okay. Hell yeah. Now I can see the chat without closing the game. And what was I doing? Why did this close? Did I close this? I probably did. For the awkwardness. 
the awkwardness of their marriage. Especially when she tags along. <laughs> you see that ring on the bottom right? That's the ring. That's his ring. That's the ring that that one black guy has. This right here. I also took a look at the channel and the. Uh, Apparently it saves my videos, even if you go live. <laughs> you want a special shout out? <laughs> That's funny. Special shout out to Gutierrez, Nayeli Sanchez. Oh, you can't see the ring really? On the bottom right? It's when it's loading? Is it cut off? it cut off? He should be able to see it. It shows the full screen. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, no, it's... Okay. Yeah, I thought it was a little weird because... Oh, my controller. I thought it was a little weird that it saves the footage even though you're live and... I don't know. I said I don't know too much about YouTube things. Oh, when you open up the chat, okay. Interesting. Are you on your laptop? What's happening? Or are you on your phone again? Taylor. Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Like, something's gonna happen to the dock in the middle of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right? Yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a dock to loop you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. Oh, hey, uh, I saw the lieutenant trauma. earlier. She was trying to get something from the dock. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. I bet there is a lot of trouble. Is that us bien? You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. You know, me parece. It's, I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal. Doc. Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, in no, Copacinca. No, no, no. I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No entiendo. I don't know what if anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. He's Dismissed, Corporal. Matt, I've been out in the ship before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I, I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. How? I don't have a camera. I can't show you the haircut. I do have a camera, but... I don't want to plug it in. It's kind of weird. See your back face while streaming. Well, I guess I won't be able to see it, but... I don't know how that works, so I'd have to figure that out. That's it, that's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. 
No, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath. Dude, I could check. I can't get what I need there. You. How do you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you can get one. Did that we? Really? Yeah, your old lab, Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? Well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm. Pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... Well, remember this chat, this stream is rated R. Let me know when you're ready to go. So be warned. There's Going somewhere, sex. Lieutenant? Colonel, Captain. Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How is your work progressing? Oh, that's sad. Good. Good, with deep... Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more viable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in a ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. That's the black guy oh. with his ring. I'd like to see Weaver's What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting of the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? Oh, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline or we're not going to make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? No, oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like boat captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I don't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? Oh, We're gonna shit. have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Where are we heading? Diamond Lake. There's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Okay. Was that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having a uh, bear problems. Bear problems. Yes, so that was the ring on the guy. I was trying to not talk through their conversation because then you probably can't hear me. Hey, hey, shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from. To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's going to report you. I mean, how's Matt going to take that? The colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Damn. Oh, my God. What's wrong? Nothing. It's just... 
I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah, I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Um, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know. Loser's arm got fucked up. And I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know, so watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all, I guess I didn't want to, I didn't want to let him down, so I, I didn't want to go out that way, and then I found out that, that you were still alive in that, that's, that's when I really wanted to, that's when I really wanted to kill myself. Yeah, right. No, seriously, but, uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring. That's, that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. You trying to convince me or you? We must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tielsen Tunnel. I don't know what's going to happen because the camp he was at told him not to return if he came through the pass. So... He might get shot at. I don't know. And then do you see those nasty ass? Those are the rippers. So, second shot. Not on the way. Move that out of the way. What the hell is that? That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? The rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um, <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. You already fucked them up. That's why. You can help him move us or what? Yeah, sure. So, this guy destroyed a whole dam to take out the Rippers. <gasps> mm, the dam fucking washed them away. It was actually pretty cool. Those are the guys that burned his arm. You can't see it. I was gonna explain it to you, but okay, hang on. It's gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus! No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a nearer checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I seem worse. Oh yeah. No, oh, can I show you? No. But yeah. Familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. Wow. I never thought I'd see this place again. Oh, I don't know. I just heard the mic. Like somebody talking, but it was... A recorded thing that they play. Okay, all right. The power's still on. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Yeah, I'll 
I'll show you. Like you said, place power is still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. guys are a little more high-tech than I remember. It's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Aerie? Artificial intelligence response interface. Wow. Oh, my God. What is it? Nothing. It's... What the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be... It, it's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power is on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power is still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. It's pretty cool. <sighs> See? Come on. It'd be pretty cool to work at a facility like that. Oh. <laughs> oh, fuck you. They're infected. That's what's made them so hyper aggressive. It makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. Okay. Come on. What the hell happened here? I don't know. What? Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew him. Let's go, come on. Wait. I don't need a license to be streaming. Someone this. shot them all Wait. as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, David. I don't know, I wasn't here. Game's a little loud. Um, I'm gonna have to take that up with our complaints department. Sorry. Okay. Let's try that. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID two zero zero seven six five nine. One's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Airy? Why is Airy working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department 
constantly complaining about the system going down. And that was with weekly maintenance. <laughs> and now it's been, what, two years? Can you hear me now? Oh, okay. It's a little quiet, so should I turn up the game and my mic? Because I turned down the game volume. And I can't really tell what it sounds like on your end. Because it sounds fine on my end. Because I can... Because um, if I go past the yellow, I think it'll be too loud. Oh, this is good? Okay. Alright, I guess we'll leave it be for now. Oh. Can I do it on my control? Yes, I can. Damn it, I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir. I don't know how you say that no one can get in here. Yeah? Oh. Fucker. My god, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you and we're not here to stay! Let us in! I don't know. Is there another way in? It's probably that security guard. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh... I can shoot the latch. Come on, come on, come on. You done that before? Yeah, once or twice. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about this. Why don't you let me go first? I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot. But I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people. And if Jim's in there, he's gonna let Jim, us in. Jim? Jim, the Renicop Jim? <sighs> Jim, who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up. Deacon, that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon. Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been seven minutes since your last login. Please wait. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Hey, oh, get down. Mother fuck you, were saying. Yeah. This will not stop anything. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm going to need to see your point out there. Stay up here, give me cover of fire. Do what you can to distract. Hey, if you get a clear shot, will you shoot those goddamn speakers? Voices drive me fucking crazy. I'm with you there. What speakers? Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against oh, all the shit. Almost out. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Who's the other one? Clear. Coming. Alert. 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 Ah! 
Oh, is that a no? Yes, it is. Yes, I did get shot. It scared me. I didn't need. Open the doors to Irene Whitaker two zero zero seven six five nine. Oh, is it good weather again? It's right here. And I missed. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. Well, ready? Alert. Yeah. Jim, wait! That son of a bitch! Well, like you said, a lot's changed. That it? Yeah. Here, like right here. Sounds like there's one right here. Or is it that? I shot that, right? Yeah, I did shoot that. Yeah. I think it just sounds like there's one. There's probably one on, uh, on the other the side door. of this door. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, <laughs> oh, your security clearance has been revoked. Please see an IT administrator for assistance. Fucking bitch! Hey, hey! Going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Are you sabotaging? Got one? Well, maybe. Uh, like, is there a way to that rooftop from here? Over here. There's a ledge out here. You should be able to climb up to the roof from that AC unit. I mean, you should be able to climb up from there. Listen, I don't want you to go up there, lay down some pressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, I'm gonna take it by surprise. Okay, yeah, that's a really good plan. But now there's, uh, there's one problem with it. What's that? The door's locked up, remember? Oh, shit. Come on, come on, I have an idea. What? your hand on that reader. Wait, what are you doing? Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? Uh, 5429009. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, let's go. Oh, like... The marker like that? Or this maybe? Alert. Alert. 
Oh yeah. yeah, I think I know what you mean. Here, I'm gonna need you to help me out. Okay, hold on. Ready? Yep. <clears throat> you got it? <laughs> yeah. Security. Your attention now. Hey, don't take any chances. Oh, lady! God damn! Jeez! No shot, are you saw that? People outside, Jim. You know, the ones you shot in the head. Put a bullet in his knee. I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? You didn't want that, did you? It's always the best. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. Uh oh, I bet there's something in there. I hope you know what you're doing. Pull his brains out. Thank you, Jessica. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. Perfect. That's what you're supposed to do. Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. That guy would have just grabbed the gun and shot him again. Guaranteed. It's all 
simple truth. I didn't want to believe it. What are you talking about? God, this is my fault. I, I don't understand. Your I should fault. have seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grapefruit here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? So David Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're, we're high tech and all that shit. And that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. I don't classified know. project, just he slow wanted, down and... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit. And I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, I don't understand what you mean. I pieced it together myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I went to the Cloverdale office in the farewell, and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Port. He, he must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. Damn. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could understand. You it's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> hey, uh, hold, hold on for a second. Sorry. Uh, the electric fences, how do I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse, is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky, and letting Lost Lake Camp know. You think you get a little bit up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. What do you mean you don't get it? What part? story so I guess well she was working at this facility before everything happened <clears throat> she was doing research on plants and shit like that and I guess her research must have been used to develop this virus or pathogen or whatever it's considered or labeled as the <laughs> grapes I don't know she did more than grapes I don't, I don't know what you mean by grapes um, but she studied flowers in general so I'm guessing something, or I don't know. Honestly, I, that's my guess. Since she's saying she's got, she was being used, but I guess being used as part of the American dream. Oh, I don't know. I'm not too sure what the wild grapes. I'm guessing it had to be used somehow. Yeah, I don't know what, how wild grapes would tie into this, other than there's some something in those grapes that were used in that virus. True story. Uh, well, I 
gonna Shit, it might have been. Hell, oh. companies are usually sketchy like that. They make it sound like, like you know, how she was saying they're just farm, farming or whatever. Probably they told her that, and then they decided to take that facility over as a clearance or whatever the virus. Once it seemed like it was a legit place. Since they did take her clearance away. Yeah, probably. I'm sure big companies like that always got some fucking secret shit going on as well. Trying to fucking mix it in with the regular shit. I'm pretty sure it's nothing new for big companies. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Just using our fucking research as cover to make it seem like it's all legit. Okay, I need to go pee and I will be back. Okay, I am back. Welcome back, everybody. Are we all here? Are we still here? Okay, we are still here. show or let's get the show on the road oh fucking birds I can already see them that's all I can craft God, there's so many of them. Oh, shut up. Oh! Okay, that's a little too fast. Did 
Which one? Which one? Which one of you wants to die? Next. How do I craft more of those? I if you have the materials, um, you can craft more. <laughs> It's just behind. Oh, God, does it? Burn, you little bastards. Bitch ass birds. Why are they still here? Oh, what materials? A uh, beer bottle, rag, and a kerosene. Ah. Oh. You little fuck face for you. these birds I swear they keep spawning in I don't think I'm get rid of these am I supposed to go into them? do you remember what I'm supposed to do? oh look this is kerosene this will work uh, what am I supposed to do? So I remember it's, it's pointing to that building, but I don't know exactly what it wants me to do. Am I supposed to like knock down the power? I think. Oh my god, chill out, Jesus. Wait, maybe not. Nah, I don't think I want that. Man, these fucking birds are annoying. Oh, there, I think it wants me to destroy their mess. <laughs> Oh yeah, I think that was it. Yeah, I think that was no, it. I just gotta jimmy that door. Got it. Can use a med kit. Do you want to watch this stream? So I want to cook some food again. I'm getting hungry. Unless you want to cook me something. <laughs> and send it over. Uh, Boozer, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? It's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't... I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the river... You know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food. Corn. So tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send something. Wait, you found her? Well, 
But you found Sarah. Yeah, I found her. It was me, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick. When are you bringing her back? What, to Lost Lake? No. Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. God oh, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good. Listen up. Uh, Dean? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a. I don't think we hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this. Did you find her? I'm glad, Dave. You were right. You made it. I'm glad she did, too. Uh, yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power. It's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay? And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's going to know the place. You come over here, you're going to find food. You're going to find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Uh, how's he doing? Oh, g um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, <laughs> could you tell... You know what? Listen, I gotta go. But, you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about, uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Right now. Say, John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielsen Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, uh, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, <laughs> tell him we're on our way. The Colonel wants to speak to you. Sorry, Captain, you're breaking up. Uh, heading out right now. Take John out. Oh my god. I hit all those. FYI. For the record. Yeah, I'm sure he misses his friends. He had a good thing going there. Well, that Ricky chick was uh, hitting on him. I mean, she means of light the candle. Oh, I think it's something more than light the candle. She's saying, like, you need to light the candle because uh, it gets lonely out there or some shit like that. Um, but I'm getting... So why didn't they grow that? Oh, I don't know. Which girl? Uh, the one I see, he's probably dead. From one of those gunshots that he took. That's a different crow. Oh, you see that? Did you hear him? Uh, <laughs> I want to go make some food, uh, do you want to uh, watch it when I get done eating again? Start it up, or you got to go to sleep, or do other things? So I want to keep playing when I get done eating. But I don't know what your plans are. Is late. Like, I, need scrap. I just want to go eat until I like half an hour. <laughs> Maybe. Not till 1 30. Okay. Uh, I think we should be able to get at least a good another two hours by the time I'm done. So. I'll end the stream here for now. Um, I'll go eat. And then... We will start it up again. We'll start up the stream again. 
so to all my fans out there I will see you in a little bit okay okay see you in a bit <laughs>